guys, welcome back to the channel where I cover missing persons, unsolved cases, crime news, and more. This guy on the screen, well, this is a really great mugshot too. He decided to keep his dead father in a freezer in the backyard. So I haven't done an odd crazy case in a while. Well, I guess Sarah Boone could be considered such, but I, I saw this on Law and Crime and I just I just had to tell you guys about it. All right, so again, this is Law and Crime. Their headline actually reads, Son allegedly kept long dead father in unplugged freezer because every time he tried to dump him in the desert, there were always people out there. Gosh darn it, those people, I can't dump my dead dad anywhere because everyone will see me. All right, so this is Joseph Daniel Hill Jr. He is the genius behind all of this. An Arizona man wanted to keep living in his house, so he kept his dead father in a freezer in the backyard, according to the Grand Canyon State Police. I mean, that sounds logical, right? I keep living in the house and, you know, dad died and you know, nobody will know until I just keep him in a freezer. Joseph Daniel Hill Jr., 51 years old, stands accused of one count each of failure to report a death, which is a misdemeanor, and one count of concealing a dead body, which is a felony, according to the Tempe Police Department. And police are saying more charges could be on the way. I wouldn't be surprised if <clears throat> desecration of a dead corpse, something like that also comes about. So, last week, officers allegedly received a tip about someone's body being stored at the residence on Dorsey Lane in Tempe's Optimist Park neighborhood. Now, I like the name of that. Optimist Park. Okay. The large city is one of many distinct municipalities located in the broader Phoenix metro area. On October 22nd, the same day that they received the tip, officers made contact with the now defendant and they requested permission to enter and search his home. You know, according to the sources cited by the Phoenix-based CBS affiliate, KPHO. Now, of course, the defendant declined because, damn, he's got a dead body on the property, so he doesn't want those cops hanging around. But, allegedly mentioned something about his father dying several years prior. Yeah, that wouldn't raise any red flags or anything. Oh, you can't come on the property, but you know, my father's been dead for four years. Mm -hmm. Later that same day, detectives returned, armed with a probable cause warrant to search the house. You know, if you don't let them in and they really want to get in, they're going to find a way. Police say that the man's demeanor changed upon the second visit. He probably crapped his pants. The defendant allegedly told investigators, quote, there was going to be something in the freezer. And I'm going to assume he's not talking about a future Thanksgiving turkey dinner. They are inside the unplugged device. Now imagine that. Investigators found skeletal remains of a man whom the defendant would allegedly tell them was his father. Oh yeah, that's my dead father. You know, don't worry about it. That's just him. He just hanging out in the freezer. I can't imagine. The, whoever opened that up, I cannot imagine the smell. Ugh. Notably, the Maricopa County Office of the Medical Examiner has yet to confirm if the body is indeed Hill Sr., nor how the man died. So, at this point, they don't know if he's telling the truth, but, I mean, really, I'm sure that's probably his dad. Hill would recount quite the ordeal regarding the retention of the human remains. So, he's got quite the story to tell the cops about why dear old dad is living, well, his corpse, rather, 
has just been hanging around in the backyard in an unplugged freezer for the past few months. After being Mirandized, he told detectives that he was with his father at the house when he, quote, took his last breath over four years ago. The son, however, allegedly said he realized his name was not on the deed and that he might lose the property. So he never reported the death. You know, that's a powerful thing. He's like, damn, dad didn't put me on the deed. I like this house. Maybe I'll hide dad's body and nobody will know. Nobody will be any the wiser. Mm-hmm. Well, it worked out for a little while anyway. The day after his father died, Hill uh, bought a body freezer to keep his father's dead body in from, from decomposing. So initially, the freezer worked. Okay, so he wasn't in a unplugged freezer for four years. The defendant had initially planned to bury the body on a plot of land he owned in the tiny community of Strawberry. I love this side of the country. Lots of cool names for little towns and stuff. A census designated place near the Mongolian Rim. And I apologize if I'm saying that wrong because I know somebody will probably point it out. Located roughly 100 miles northeast of Tempe. That plan fell through, though. Didn't work out for him. After a fire on the second property led to the loss of power. Because he's like, damn, I can't plug this freezer in here. There's no power after the fire. He told the detectives that that just backfired. So, the freezer and its contents, dear old dad, made their way back to into the backyard of the home on Dorsey Lane. Can you just imagine? He drives all the way out there with this chest freezer in his truck or whatever. It's a big fire and he's like, crap. Guess I gotta take dear old dad back to Dorsey Lane. Darn. Then there was another fire, because this story can only get better. This time, Hill allegedly said the blaze occurred at his father's house in June 2023. So, this is now a fire on Dorsey Lane. You think maybe Dad's speaking from the dead? Maybe. Again, the freezer lost power. Mm-hmm, yep. Because you don't want it to lose power because that body's going to start to reek. So the defendant allegedly stated he repeatedly began loading the freezer into the back of his truck again to bury his father somewhere out in the desert. So this time he's like, I got to get rid of dad again, man. I cannot have him on Dorsey Lane. I can't have him. He's just got to go. This plan was foiled over and over. Nothing was working out for Junior. The younger Hill told the investigators because... There were always people out there. You ever hear of In the Darkness? I guess he doesn't watch enough true crime. At some point, the defendant appears to have given up the idea of burying or even keeping dear old dad on ice. Not only did he decide, crap, I guess he's going to be stuck in this freezer, but police allege the freezer sat in the backyard without power for the last four to six months. I wonder, how did no one smell dear old dad? I know he's in a chest freezer, but does that really keep decomposition at bay for odor? I'm curious. Maybe that's why the neighbors were suspicious. Inside the consumer appliance, investigators allegedly found a tarp, moving blankets, large quantities of plastic wrap and duct tape, makes you wonder what he did with dad with them, ratchet straps, bed sheets, a skeleton, which I guess is dad, and an extensive amount of biological matter. That would also be dad. Despite marshalling extensive resources to look into what happened to Joseph Hill Sr., Law enforcement has said that they have found very little, according to court documents. Along with the absence of a death record, investigators discovered that the Elder Hill was still listed as the owner of the house 
and he had been receiving Social Security benefits until March 2023. Yeah, I'm sure Junior there was uh, all happy with the house and uh, those Social Security checks. I'm sure he was good with that. Neighbors who spoke with KPHO and Phoenix-based Fox affiliate KSAZ relayed some details that aligned with the law enforcement narrative of the case. The defendant is said to have grown up in the house with his mother and father, some neighbors informed them. Other neighbors recalled a fire there sometime in the recent past. So I guess he had a real connection with that home. And damn, nothing was going to take him away from that his childhood home, not even his daddy's death. At the present time, the house on Dorsey, well, it remains under construction and has been for some time. On the day of the arrest, construction crews reportedly filter in and out of the residence. Makes you wonder, did they not realize there was a dead body hanging out in the backyard in a big-ass chest freezer? The defendant's case is not docketed on the Maricopa County Court System's public uh, record system as of this writing. And I actually rechecked before I recorded this, and nothing's up there yet. And it looks like Law and Crime has also reached out to Tempe Police Department for details. I am highly interested in this case, you guys. Wow. Again, this is my favorite mugshot. I have no idea how this mugshot of Junior passed muster. But, hey. And this is the only picture I could find of him at this point. So, Hill Jr. here uh, probably is still behind bars. And I guess that white truck there, it's either the construction guy's truck or maybe that's the truck that he hauled dead daddy-o in the freezer back and forth um, on the desert in. But I am highly curious about this one, guys, because, you know, you can't get any stranger than real life. Fiction is nothing anymore. This one, I'm really interested in. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know if you guys like these odd crime cases and stuff, because I kind of, when I find them, I love to tell you guys about them, because this one really... Really, I hate to say entertain me, because that's really kind of awful. But this guy is definitely a winner, that's for sure. All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of the day. And most of all, stay safe.